the fight of the night was Green versus Fiziev. And then uh, the performances were so good, we did three tonight. So we did Jessica Penne, uh, Vincente, and uh, Miles Johns. They all won $50,000. So congratulations to them. John Morgan. What's going on? Oh, I might be surprised that Cyril Ghosn didn't get a performance yeah. bonus. I mean, uh, I think he's got bigger paychecks coming on the yeah. way anyway, but... Uh, yeah, no, he, yeah, he, had a, he, he did have a great performance. That's, that's true. Well, how come we didn't talk about that in there? This is... This, oh, Sean. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cyril... Uh, fuck it. He gets 50000 too. There you go. Right. Good job, John Morgan. <laughs> get all the credit for that one. That's funny. Yeah, well, we, 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 that's true. C Cyril Ghosn should absolutely get the performance. There's no way you could have scripted this on your right. There's no way you could have scripted this. Um, Derek Lewis had no reason fighting Cyril Ghosn. The guy that he should have fought was Francis Ngannou. Cyril Ghosn and Francis Ngannou were teammates. Now Ghosn is the interim. And when you make this heavyweight unification, it's between two former teammates where there's been some bad blood in the, uh, when Ngannou left their camp. There's no way you could have scripted this. I mean, this, this works perfectly. Your, it, Thank you, opinion, sir. Right? I'm asking. I couple. could not agree with you more. <laughs> you are correct. I agree. It's badass. And uh, what, 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 what I love is when we were going into this fight, I was telling everybody, and it's absolutely true, you have two of the best possible heavyweights in the world fighting each other. You have the guy who beat Francis Ngannou, right, and a guy who's undefeated with the whole backstory that you just said, right? The, this fight got a lot of heat. Created a lot of interest. Cyril Gon goes out tonight. He looks incredible. Like he said earlier, we've been working a long time on getting France open. France is open now. And we just got, an, a, you know, a TV deal in France. And uh, here we are. And now the two, I, I mean, it, 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 what you always want to do when you either build fighters, build fights, or, or, or put on fights, is you want to have the best possible guys fighting each other that you possibly can. It doesn't get any better than this. You couldn't write it. You couldn't script it. Fucking Vince couldn't have wrote a better script for this whole thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful, and I agree with you, sir. And I'm glad you noticed. Do you think Derek Lewis, the pressure was too much for him? No. I because when he, when he came out, though, he C looked a little tensed. Cyril Gaon was, was, was too much for him. Cyril Gaon moves like a middleweight. His footwork is unbelievable. This guy stays on his toes the whole time, stays on the outside and picks you apart. Um, he is a very talented fighter. And uh, he's also, uh, his fight IQ is through the roof. This, this guy's the real deal. Him and Francis is a badass heavyweight fight. It's yep. <laughs> Dana, we're here. What's up, buddy? How are you? So we talked about Francis, D Derek Lewis. You ain't said nothing about Mr. Jones. Is he just the odd man out? We, we, the, the, are you calling his phone? He's not fighting until next year. It's, it's 2021, my brother. He's not fighting until <laughs> 22. So I, I'm not even thinking about him until 22. 